Hi, my name is Brittany and welcome to my vlog. Um, I guess it's been a few weeks since um, I did uh, one, so uh, yeah, it's um, one of those periods in life where major distractions. So um, uh, this is about uh, the subject of joining groups in your area that share your common interests. Um, you can also start your own and this is through uh, meetup.com uh, M-E-E-T-U-P dot com uh, If you put in your zip code once you're on the website it'll show you for example all the LGBT organizations near you all the transgender near you, transsexual near you some of the keywords. I, I would caution you that if you decide to um, participate in these groups, don't be quick to put down membership fees until you have a very good idea of the kind of people that are in the group. Um, you can always ask if you can uh, attend a meeting and see for yourself. Uh, I'm going to tell you a quick story. I. <laughs> um, I, 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 <laughs> I went and joined a group and it was an LGBT group. Now, I have, I'm going to say something, some of you are going to disagree, but some of these LGBT groups, they are way more lesbian, bisexual, and um, gay friendly than they are transgender friendly, like order of magnitude more friendly. and. For those of you who are watching this that are transgender, assuming it's most of you, um, as that is the audience for these videos, you might be sadly mistaken and disappointed to find out that what you thought was a friendly environment is one with just as much ignorance as exists in the rest of the population. And uh, I had joined one group, I had put down 10 bucks. And I was okay with it. I thought it was okay. And then I never saw an event that I could attend. They, in one case, they were having it over someone's house. And I'm like, I don't feel comfortable being in their house. I don't know these people. And, it, and on top of that, even if I could have got by that, and I guess I could have, you know, it was always jammed up. And then, furthermore, you had to show your driver's license at the front desk. I am, because I haven't changed my name just yet, as of the end of July 2013, uh, and it's coming close, I will be. Uh, I'm not showing them my boy ID, not in this lifetime, not in my next lifetime, never, never, never. So all those things really got me. And um, then the, the guy that was running the group left for some kind of problem, I guess I don't know if they, if the people that, that were in the group were imbeciles or he had too much work to do and he had to go or, or what it was. Someone else took over the group. The guy wrote me a letter at, in response to me trying to find out whether or not I was in the right place. And I had, yes, I just jiggled the camera, so. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I wrote him a letter and I said, uh, you know, I'm transgender, I'm trying to figure out if if I am in the right group, you know, because I don't see any events that have anything to do with that, nothing, you know, I don't know. And he wrote back to me like something on the order of, uh, well, there is another person in our group and he, he likes to wear women's clothes sometimes. Right? And this to me was t tantamount to the greatest form of ignorance I ever thought. I'm like, you believe that some guy who is a part-time transvestite is the same thing as someone who is a transsexual and is living their life and on hormones all to be a woman, a bi you know, to live their life as a female, uh, as a transgender woman. So. Uh, I just thought this amount of ignorance just 
you know, I, w I wish I could have sort of like bottled it. You know, God only knows they want, they have an endless supply in that group of ignorance. Um, I don't know. It's a good thing you can't bottle it. Um, I quit the group and I wrote him a nasty note. And I'm like, basically go F yourself and, uh, you know, if you're that stupid, you know. I really socked it to him. So, now I've joined some other groups and what you may find is that some of the groups like ones that are more specific to lesbians they like transgender women you know the fact that you want to be a woman or as they see it you know I, I don't want to get into like the the, the 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 subtleties of this like you always feel like you're a woman I always have since I was a kid you know um, but from their perspective you know someone who wants to be a woman you know and all of that they're like yeah 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 come on in you know um, we'll recruit you and I joined another group and uh, through meetup.com and they were great and I haven't been to a function yet I met one of the girls on the side you know like at Starbucks and that was that was cute you know she's she had a lot of interesting things to say you know and you know transgender they come in all forms and sizes transsexual women come in all forms and sizes and um, don't get caught up in my in my terminology. Uh, yes, I am a transgender woman. Um, okay, whatever. You know, transsexual, transgender. It, you see what you see, you know. And and this is the way I am. And this is how I live my life. And I'm happy doing it. And I'm relaxed. Uh, I got a couple of other Facebook messages from a couple of the other girls. They were very friendly. In this one group. For those of you who are interested, we could talk about it more, especially if you're here in South Florida, Dayton, Broward County, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, etc. Uh, they're closer to Palm Beach, but who cares? So, could be worth it. Um, that's basically it. Look for those groups. Uh, be careful. Don't assume that gay friendly groups are transgender friendly groups. Gay guys don't necessarily like transgender women. Think about it. You want to cut off your. PP, right? They freak out at the thought of that. They won't go near a female. They won't kiss a female. What makes you think they're going to be friendly towards you? You know, you have to be covered in chocolate and they're going to want to eat you for them to like be friendly. Okay, so just be cautious. Don't always assume. Bye. Thanks for stopping by.